Let's take a look at ScreenShare Pro. At the bottom of the display, there is a button here called Cast, and you've probably noticed these numbers floating at the top of the screen as I've been talking. If you touch either of those locations, you'll bring up the menu for ScreenShare Pro. It gives you the instructions of exactly how to connect to it, download and install the software available by going to the QR code, the website listed here, or at www.loftech.com. You need to be on the same network as the display, and then you input the code. I'm going to first show you by connecting with a mobile device. I'm going to enter the code, and I'm now connected to the display. From my mobile devices, I can access any of the content or media that's on my device and share it quickly to the front of the display, or to the display. I can use my camera on my mobile device as a live feed document camera. I can use my device as a remote and open up files as I was if I were using a keyboard and mouse. Or I can sync the screen back to my mobile device so that I can see what's going on on the screen but I also have full touch control and I can write on the display as I'm walking around the room. Finally, it will support AirPlay and Mirrorcast as well. So if you're more interested in that feature, you can share exactly what's on your mobile device to the front of the room. Let's take a look from a PC perspective. I can share directly from my device to the display in a mirroring application. I can share as an extended desktop so that I can work on my uh, PC and share a second screen up to the display. Or I can also mirror back what's going on in the display. Here I've set it up, you can see that you can share multiple devices at the same time. Um, I've got my PC to the front of the room now, so let's take a look at just that one. Now, the difference between a mobile device and a laptop is mobile devices will support sharing audio, video. PCs will share audio, video, and touch. I can walk up to the display now, open up a website, move it around, just like I'd expect to be able to do, all without any cables connected to the display. To give you a look at the desktop sync, I can now share back from the loft display to my desktop. So if you have a student at the back of the class that's having a tough time seeing, uh, it does have that ability as, to get the content closer to the students. That's a quick overview of our ScreenShare Pro app.